what is going on everybody welcome back to another video in gage's garage and in today's video as you can see we are finishing my control arms we are starting and finishing them in this video got a lot done today cross braced them got everything tacked into place where it needs to be we got full range of motion oh don't use that hand that hurt you can't use that pinky yet but she's moving good i know bump steers a thing on like the front how like when you hit bumps i don't know if it correlates to like the same term for the rear but there is just the most minimal amount of cambering when i lift this thing perfectly level up and down right here and then right at the top you can tell it just cambers in just the slightest bit just a tiny bit which should be fine because this thing is not going to be compressing a foot up like my rain my my travel right now, I don't even know what my travel is. I need to measure that because this thing has got some travel. This is just a fraction of what it can travel. And this is dope. So, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Please hit that like button. Please share with others. Get this video out there. I'm really liking how this is turning out. I hope this is going to be a good video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it because we got a lot done. It's turning out great. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Any advice, anything, I'll take it. Just yeah, please share and get this get this video out there because we're starting to get back in the roll of things. Next video should be suspension and getting the suspension mounted. And then after that, I'm fixing my steering, but I'm not making another video about that. And then after that, cross bracing, finish welding, sanding, and painting. And we're coming along. Yeah, so this thing's going to be running in no time now that I'm back up and rolling again. So yeah, just stay tuned and... Hope you enjoy.
Okay, as you can see, I've done a little bit off camera. I've got all eight of these little um, pieces of tubing that is connecting my control arms together to keep that side to side motion from happening. And I'm gonna start cross bracing these um, here soon. But right now I did all this off camera and I got these tubes cut and I'm about to tack them in place. And that's pretty much the whole process. I've just been notching these tubing, this tubing so that way I could get it lined up a lot better than most of the buggy. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. I just, yeah, I just got to get these tacked into place and then do the cross bracing and then control arms are done. Then we just finish weld. So yeah, stay tuned and let me know what you guys think. Well, as you can see, we got a lot more done in this video than I thought we were going to get done because I started working on this yesterday, which will be Friday, and I finished them. I mean, I didn't finish weld everything, but I got the majority of this done, all these swing arms completely done on Saturday, the next day, and I didn't work on this all day today, and I didn't work on this all day yesterday. I probably worked on this thing for three hours tonight and probably probably like four, three or four hours yesterday. So like eight, seven or eight hours in total of building these control arms, which only took two days in total, which I'm very proud of. I'm excited. I got a lot more done in this than I thought I was going to. And they, they turned out great. I love the cross bracing I did, how it's like the tops are the same on each side and the bottoms the opposite of the top on each side. And I think that's, that's going to be a really good idea for like the, um, 
the torque that's going to come from these tires because it's going to want to spin and spin that frame or spin or twist these uh, control arms. And I feel like <clears throat> oh, what I did with the uh, cross bracing and the top and bottom really is going to help counteract that uh, torque from the tires. So it shouldn't have any issue with the power this thing is going to have. I'm really liking how it's going to, how it's turning out. And um, this bar right here on each side, right in front of the uh, knuckles, that's going to be where my shocks are going to mount. I'll show you these shocks I got. Freaking truck shocks. These things are massive and they're awesome. I can't remember which way these things go though, I'll be honest. So I think... I think they mount like this. I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to have these uh, them connect down above this. I'm going to make some brackets for down here on the bottom and up here on the top. But, yeah, they're just going to mount like that. I think it looks pretty dope. I'm weak. I've lost so much muscle. I'm 10 pounds down, and I'm struggling holding this out in front of my body. You can't. Ex I can't explain the toll my pinky has done on me. I've lost so much upper body strength, and it's killing me. It is, oh my gosh, I've lost so much muscle, but I'll get it back sooner and later, I guess, hopefully. Probably another month and a half before I can even start using this hand lifting-wise, even though I am a little bit, just I'm trying not to use my pinky, but it's still going to be a while before I can even lift weights with this hand again, so I'm angry, but... She's looking pretty good. I'm really, really happy with what we got done today. So, that, that is going to be it for this video. We got a lot done. I'm really happy. I'm really excited for how this is um, coming along. So, if you guys see anything you'd like me to fix or any just tips, things you could point out to help me in this building process, let me know in the comments, please. Any advice is helpful. I appreciate all of it. And if anything, it's going to help me in the long run because I'm still learning. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button. Share with others. Get these videos out there. And, yeah. Like and subscribe.